Hi there and welcome to ZDNet. Let's talk about how to activate a new iPhone. All right, so the first time I ever activated a new phone myself was about 10 years ago when I ordered one online. And I was pretty amazed at how painless the process was. Um, it used to be that activating a new phone was like almost like buying a car. And I know I'm gonna sound like an old lady right now, like talking about VHS tapes and cassettes and get off my lawn. But back in my day, the whole process was you would save for weeks or months to get a new phone and then you would research forever before deciding on one. And then once you went and got it, you'd spend the whole afternoon making small talk to an employee and signing contracts and then you would walk out with a shiny new phone and probably a little bit poorer. But ever since I started ordering my phones online, then I don't think I will ever go back. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is unbox and turn on your new iPhone. I'm gonna take mine out of the box. Um, I have my old one right here, it's an iPhone 10X Max. And I'm just gonna set this up. I'm gonna turn it on and wait for the system to load. After that, we're gonna choose quick start or set up manually. So just swipe up on this hello screen and select your language. I'm gonna choose English. And then we're gonna select the country or region you're in. Let's choose United States. And then we have the option to do quick start with an older iPhone or set up manually. I have my old iPhone, but I'm gonna show you how the set up manually looks like. Then we're gonna connect to Wi-Fi and follow some prompts. I entered my Wi-Fi password. I'm just gonna wait for my phone to connect to the Wi-Fi. And then we'll just press continue here on this data and privacy information. And next we'll set up Face ID and a passcode. I'll skip through me setting up my Face ID with the front camera. But once Face ID is set up, then you have the option to create a passcode to unlock your iPhone. The next step is to transfer your apps and data. You can set up your Siri and sign in to your Apple ID. Transferring your data can be done from an iCloud backup, uh, from a Mac or PC, directly from an older iPhone, from Android, or you can just skip it all together and start from scratch. I chose to transfer directly from an old iPhone. Um, I'm just gonna hold it near the new iPhone and scan this animation that comes up on it. And then we're gonna be able to adjust or change any settings for Siri and other stuff on your phone and add things like your Apple wallet to your new phone, set up any established connections that you have, like if you have an Apple watch or anything connected to your older phone. The entire iPhone 14 lineup uses eSIM. So Apple did away with SIM cards completely. So if you're having issues setting up your eSIM, here's a couple of things you can do. So you may notice that I skipped setting up my cellular network. That's because when I got this iPhone, I got it directly from Apple and I didn't choose the carrier at checkout. Since I used Mint Mobile, it wasn't one of the options on the Apple website. So when I checked out, I just decided to set it up later. Now, if you bought an iPhone directly from a phone carrier, it'll connect to your cellular network when it connects to Wi-Fi when you're setting it up. However, if you're needing to set up your eSIM yourself, you can skip connecting to your cellular network as setup and just move forward with the rest of the setup process like I did. After your phone is set up, you can go to settings and then you'll either have a notification saying finish setting up cellular or you can just select cellular from the settings menu. After that, tap on set up cellular or at eSIM. You may have to contact your carrier directly, but this is typically not the issue you'll encounter, especially if you buy it directly from a phone carrier, which is what most people do. And now all that's left to do is just enjoy your new phone. Thank you so much for watching.